Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. The purpose of this video is to provide a short overview of Smartsheet Dynamic View and give you some examples of when you'd want to use this. Note, Dynamic View is a premium app, so it does come at an additional cost unless you're on a Smartsheet Advanced plan, but a clear benefit to using it to help accelerating collaboration and visibility whilst maintaining all important confidentiality, ensuring people only see and interact with information sheets that you want them to. I'm going to show you two different scenarios, one for managing employee training records and feedback, which clearly has a lot of personal information and you don't want that information to be shared more widely, and another, a project scenario, where you don't want to share the entire project plan with an external contractor, but clearly you want them to see their tasks. Now Dynamic View can be used in any number of scenarios similar to this, where you want to track and interact with specific information with specific parties. So let's dive in and have a look. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you the employee training portal. In here, I've gone in as Alejandra Rojas and it's showing me the training that I'm due to do. So in a portal through Smartsheet, I can have embedded the dynamic view and it's showing me the training specific to me because I'm logged in as Alejandra into Smartsheet. In this case, I'm actually going to launch the training record. So we're going to the dynamic view version of it. And you can see it's the same as what I had showing on the dashboard. In this case, Alejandra can see the training, one that she's completed, anti-bribery and corruption, and two, training that she's either got in progress or is scheduled. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is show you how she can interact with that information. Now, when this was set up, this view was set up, you get to decide which columns you want to show from the master data and which columns you want them to provide inputs to. So in this case, pre-selected it, and actually, I've got this set up so she can fill out the feedback form for when she completed the course. So in this case, completed it today. It's going to rate it as 10 out of 10. And how relevant? 10 out of 10. What have I gained from the course? Importance of authenticity in leadership. Excuse my spelling. And how confident reasonably confident. Any further feedback? Great. Coaches and other training not needed right now. So I'm going to save that information and that is going to update into the master information. And you can see already it's updated here. The status will update in a separate workflow shortly. And so we can see that the information is already here. So now what I'm going to do is going to go to the manager who is demo productive in this case. And demo productive, these are all the employees reporting to demo productive. And you can see Alejandro Rojas is there and it's showing as scheduled currently. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refresh this and we can now see actually that she's completed a training and she gave it a, a rating of 10 out of 10. If I click on this now, I can actually see the feedback which we put in moments ago and I can add in some information here at the bottom to say, great work. And when I've done, keep it, it's up. And I'm going to save that information. And this will also be added to her training record. Here is a manager. I can also then look and see other people and the training that they've done. So Seb Safirio, he's done SEO 101. I can see his feedback and I've previously added some notes here. Seeing great progress on that side. Important bit here is I can't, as a manager, edit this information because set up to prevent that the manager making any changes to the information that's, that's been provided already. In here as well, you've got a filter so I can Add on a filter here to see in progress only and just shows me the training that's in progress and in this case overdue and it's got the conditional formatting putting through from the master sheet showing that's overdue as well so I turn the filter off and i can also see if feedback is overdue in this particular case so that's as a manager if i'm the overall training manager there's a separate view 
which is set up that only the training manager can see everyone in the organization and they can go in and view in the same way interact with the information so Seb Sefirio added in they can see the information and they've added in good job um, as a comment but can't make any changes to the previous information so that's one scenario in terms of training records this could be used for performance reviews it could be used for IT ticketing for example multiple uses on that side the other example I'm going to show you is in a project plan scenario so in this case I've got the overall project plan but I do not want to share this with my building contractor because there's other information in this plan that I don't want them to see but what I clearly want them to do is to see their tasks and to update their tasks so in this case here are the building works you can see the overall task for the work breakdown um, beneath is marked in grey so if we go across to the building contractor and go to their view you can see again the top level the formatting's come across and you can see all the various items that are listed below are showing now again we want them to update the plan directly so pre-works prep we can see it's overdue it's showing as red and what they can do is they can go in and add in and say 100% complete and note um, completed sorry for not updating on time I can save that now whilst I'm here I can also add in comments I can add in attachments but go to the data so I now save that information you'll see it's now marked already as complete the health of the overall area for the building contractor is now back on amber if I go back to the overall project plan we will see that this will update and the information will come through now to the project plan and that should be marked as complete 100% and the comment there completed sorry for not updating it on time so just going back into dynamic view and looking inside how it's set up as I was saying when you go in you can set up a view you create create views you give it a name description you can set up in terms of you know whether people can add in new items whether they can export it you know what people can see the various information you know and this is where you set up who can see what in terms of any restrictions etc so you choose a column here you are able to set up what data you want to show in the main view and so you choose the various columns and you put them in and the details panel this is where you get to set up the information that you want to appear in this view back to the training record in this instance so if I click on this overall rating or training relevance to your role and then you can add in information and you can put help text in this example and then for sharing you can then decide who else you want to share this with and so just one last point to add in terms of the view display you can also allow people to see and add comments and add attachments as well so that's a setting you can have so I hope that's been useful in terms of seeing inside dynamic view and two scenarios but there's a multitude of scenarios where you can use dynamic view really important tool to enable confidentiality and sharing of information in the most expedient way saving everyone lots of time yet ensuring that visibility on progress so if you want to get in touch and find out anything more about dynamic view or anything else regarding smart sheets please get in touch my name is rich coles from productive project solutions if you're interested in more videos like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and more videos will be coming following on from this one. Many thanks.